Hi friends, it's Liz here. Thank you for joining me today. I thought I would do a quick video announcing the winner of my Happy Mail giveaway. Uh, I'm also thinking I'll show you how I've been using the Daphne's Diary Journal slash Planner for 2022. I do have a flip through of this on my channel. I did this uh, flip through for the full thing um, a little while back. So if you wanted to see what it looks like without what I've added to it, um, I will uh, link that below. And then um, I'm also going to show you what I plan to use for my craft room design planning. So this is the item, the happy mail that um, I'm going to select a winner for. I did make a video a while back letting you know that I will be randomly choosing uh, people from the comments um, that are left on my videos. And um, this one happens to be the winner of that particular video. Um, every time the unboxing videos or the, um, you know, the videos where I show you a haul, um, once they hit a thousand views, then I'll randomly pick um, a winner from the comments that are left. So um, I'm so excited about this one. The winner of this uh, little happy mail from me is a girl from the bayou. So thank you so much for, um, you know, leaving comments. I actually have seen you um, leave several comments. So thank you so, so much. Please uh, email me with your address details so I can send this off to you. Um, and, you know, keep in mind that, like I said, I'll be randomly picking people going forward for 2022 from comments left on my videos. Once the video hits a thousand views, I'll randomly pick one and select a winner. So if you're interested in, you know, getting some happy mail from me or a little thank you gift from me, keep leaving those comments, keep, you know, giving me those thumbs up, um, letting me know you watch my videos. I truly, truly appreciate it. And I thank you so, so much. So again, um, getting back to the flip through, I'm just going to quickly show you how I've been using my planner slash journal because I think I'll be kind of combining it this time. I'm really loving, uh, you know, what it's, um, all the pages in it, all the ideas that I'm getting from it. And like I said, if you want to see a flip through of it before I start adding, you know, my own creative ideas to it, I will link that below as well. So um, the first thing that I think I'm going to mention is I'm using it more like a glue book or like a smash book. So it's going to be just adding things that um, at that moment bring me joy. So this is kind of the start of January. I added my own tabs to it. As you can see here, I've just randomly written things down that either happened that week or that day and then things that I may have received at the same time I'm adding washi tape to it um, you know stickers that sort of thing I love the uh, ring binding to this or the um, coil binding because it lays nice and flat and um, I'm also taking some pages out that I don't think I'll be using and I'll show you what that is in a few minutes as well um, I don't um, Right, so for some of the items that I'm really enjoying right now, like here for the 2022, I am really enjoying these Posca markers. I recently shared a video where I unboxed some supplies from Stationery Pal. That's where these ones came from. I do have a coupon code for those of you that are interested in purchasing anything. And thank you so much for clicking on those links. That really supports my channel as well with uh, the affiliate links, you know, every little penny counts. I love how shimmery the markers are and that's the reason I had selected them in the first place. It's got like a little iridescence to it. So I thought I would just write 2022, January 1st, we had waffles <laughs> um, and that's about it for that day. Now these are mild liners. I showed you this in the unboxing of Stationery Pal. But I, what I forgot to show you was that they were double sided because it's so hard to see the other side of the cap. So not only do they have this really nice brush tip on one end, but then they have the, you know, nicer tip uh, on the other side. So I did show you these as well. And, you know, check out, take a look at that video. There are so many awesome supplies from their shop. The pricing I find is quite affordable. And a lot of you are saying you're very happy with 
um, you know, what you saw that I kind of featured for them in that video. So I will link that below um, in case you haven't seen that video as well. But I love using the um, colors in my journal. It just changes a little bit, you know, when you're writing things, just the different colors and stuff. It just makes it look really nice. So anyways, that is um, the one thing that I've been using and I'm really enjoying these as well. And I'll show you more, um, you know, projects that I've been making with the other supplies that I received. So for the next week, um, I featured a little bit more of the washi tapes. These ones came from the washi tape shop. And if you saw that video, um, I was so happy to realize that um, there's a lot of these like floral style ones as well. And you can make little flowers with them, with the flower petals that come in, because I didn't know that before. So anyways, they have such lovely designs. Like look at this tiny little kitty. I'm loving the puppies. I am really enjoying the sticker style washi that they have. So basically they come in rolls like this, some, some of the sets, and you can just peel them right off and, you know, stick them on something else. So they're not um, sticky to start. You can, you know, kind of pick and choose where you want to put your washi sticker on. They've got some artsy ones, which I'm really enjoying. Um, so it's just been really fun to play with those. And again, I will be showing you some um, projects that I've made with them. I do have a coupon code as well in the link below to everything that um, I showed you in that previous video. And um, I will have that for you just in case. Also check out my blog. I try and keep that up as well because I know some of you can't find that description box. So the other thing I did here is I wanted to just add a few extra pieces that I had left or things that I had been working on. So sometimes I have, you know, I, I'm playing with die cuts, so I have like a little extra die cut. These strips are leftovers for projects I was making with my own printables. And so I put those in there, of course, as a reminder that this is my Valentine's printable and I kind of wanted to um, keep that there. I'm using a couple of other pieces that I received from the Stationery Pal, like these little booklets. They look like um, faux stamps and they're all florals, super adorable. And, um, you know, the butterfly washi tape, another waffle day for us. And uh, like I said, it's just I'm randomly adding things that bring me joy that I'm either using that day or that I found on my desk as I was kind of creating and playing. This next week, again, very similar, just washi tape that I really liked. This piece right here was already part of this planner slash journal. And so that's one thing I really like about it is that it's already got decorated pages. So it takes away from you having to start from the beginning with a blank page. It looks like I've already added some, you know, color to it and some design. So it's really nice to kind of push that creative button where you don't have to add a lot to it to make it look pretty. Um, and you can see here, I just, again, randomly add, you know, if I had a video that I uploaded that day on YouTube or if I was working on editing or anything like that. Um, I'm also using it as a sample one. So you can see here that I've just added some of the washi tape that I received. These ones here, um, I found them, I wanted to do Liz, as you saw there, but it had like uppercases and lowercases and like I can't find another uppercase Z. So um, I guess it's just maybe for initials that you can use these. I just, it wouldn't make sense for me if I wanted to um, spell someone's name out, you know, upper and lowercase all over the place, but they're really nice. And like I said, it's nice if you want to maybe send a, a, a letter to someone and put like their initial at the back of the envelope, that would be adorable. Now this page here, I'm loving. I did use some p pieces that I ripped out, ripped out of the um, Daphne's Diary magazine itself because I'm working on my new craft space and area. I have high ceilings, I have a smaller room. I'm trying to really narrow down what I'll be using. And so I'm just kind of starting with some creative ideas of things that are inspiring me. So this is where I started this, um, you know, the, the thought of maybe collecting some images that are bringing me a little inspiration for my craft space. And then I realized I need an entire planner for this because I've got to take inventory of everything I have. 
um, things that I may or may not need to purchase. You know, maybe I, I'm changing the color of the room because it was my daughter's. So I'm, you know, trying to make it my own now. Um, and like you, like I said, I'm just sort of collecting things that are inspiring me. Of course, the washi tape that has the little paint brushes I thought was super adorable. Um, and again, the washi tapes are primarily from the washi tape shop. This is another piece I ripped out of a Daphne's Diary magazine, a little thing that, you know, a little quote. And like I said, it's just, that's how I'm using it. Now, this is this week, um, and it's a super crazy snow day on Monday, or it was. Um, we were really like just snowed in, everything stopped, so many accidents, you know, everything that goes along with that. Even though I am in Ontario, Canada, and we are used to snow in the winter, this one was not expected to be as bad as it got. I was just clean up and getting back to, you know, everything else that happens every day. So anyways, um, this is going to be my a planner that I'm repurposing um, for my craft space inspiration design etc I thought that this would be the best way for me to keep track of you know everything I have right now and what I may or may not want to bring to my new craft space and then also just use it as inspiration this is my Filofax um, I haven't been using it for a little bit so I thought I would pull everything out that I had used and bring in other things that I could use with it now um, and I'm really liking I think it's um, uh, I forgot the name of the paper that I'm really liking and you'll probably see it here and it's a lot thicker paper than the one I've been using with my um, Filofax. So um, it's Webster's Pages, the paper that I really like. So I kind of pulled some out of my other Webster's Pages planners. As you can see, I'm just combining a bunch of pages here and then I'll be using it to keep track of things, make lists, um, maybe add some inspirational pictures and images, that sort of thing. So if you want to see the process of how I'm putting this together, let me know. Um, I haven't done this before, but I'm thinking that this will be really great for me to um, you know, plan a really great um, craft space. I don't have a lot of room where I'll be moving to, so um, it, I really have to be specific and here's just some images that I had you know cut out of a magazine that were inspiring to me so these are the types of things that I like to keep track of because I know that at some point that's going to help me with my inspiration of whatever it is I'm doing so that's it my friends I just wanted to do a quick video congratulations to the winner keep an eye out on those videos um, you know the unboxing videos or the haul videos leaving comments always kind of um, helps me of course supports my channel because then the companies um, like to give coupon codes for my subscribers and those that are following me etc thank you so much um, don't forget to leave a thumbs up subscribe hit that notification bell and um, I will see you very soon thanks so much for stopping by